Right, welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be installing Decky Loader on the Steam Deck OLED. So I'm going to talk you through how to install it and we'll have a look together at some of the plugins that are available. Right, the first thing you're going to want to do is hit your Steam button, go down to power and switch to desktop mode. Let it do its thing. Right. Once you're in desktop mode, you want to open up a internet browser and type in your internet browser Decky Loader. The first one from GitHub that comes up, double click that. And then you want to go down to download. And on download, double click it, you'll see here it's only 466 bytes, it takes almost a second and it's done. So we close this window, open up your files and in your download folder is Decky Installer. Double click it, execute, continue. And it says you've not set an admin password, but Decky can still install it by temporarily setting your password to Decky exclamation mark and continuing, then removing it when the installer finishes. Are you okay with that? I'm fine with that. Release or pre-release. Uh, if you're on beta, then you want pre-release. And if you're on a stable Steam OS like I am, you want normal release. Okay. Let it do its thing. Installer finished can now be closed. Come out of that, return to gaming mode. Once the system's restarted and it goes back to home, Hit the three dot button on here and now at the very bottom you'll notice a little plug icon just there and then you go to the shop front which is like a, a little market sign and press A alphabetical A to Z and there are all the different ones look at all them god blimey Right, there's 67 it says, so let's have a look, you've got Animation Changer, uh, a Boot Suspend Animation Management Plugin, Audio Loader, replaces Steam UI sound effects with custom sound and adds music to menus, I'll install that, so let's install that one, that one's done, press B it come out. Auto flat packs, a plugin to manage, notify, and automatically update flat packs on your Steam console. Auto suspend, automatically suspend on low power. Bash shortcuts, manage for shortcuts in the quick access menu. Use uses bash under the hood. Battery tracker, Bluetooth, quickly connect your already paired Bluetooth devices. Now that sounds much easier than having to go through settings and doing it all the time. So we'll add that one. Bookmarks, remember hard to reach pages in Steam's UI. Brightness bar, Bluetooth weight control, cheat deck, launch games with cheat or trainer and manage your launch options. Controller tools, uh, the missing game controller menu displays the current battery percent and charging status, supports DualSense, DualShock 4, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Deck FAQs, an FAQ browser for the Steam Deck, both Steam and non-Steam games. Deck MTP, a plugin that allows your Steam Deck to transfer files to your PC via MTP and USB. Deck Roulette, a plugin that allows you to navigate to a random game in your library or Steam collection. <laughs> that sounds fun. Uh, deck settings. Plug in to browse recommended Steam Deck game settings from Share Deck and Steam Deck HQ. Install that one. Decky Cloud Save. Manage cloud saves for games that do not support 
that do not support it in the file server plugin that lets you turn on a web server to browse and download files from your Steam Deck. Decky notifications receive notifications from smartphone using KDE Connect protocol. Decky recorder record your games with Decky recorder, so it's like a screen record function. I've seen people use that. I'm going to use that one. Awesome. Decky terminal a missing terminal plugin that turns your Steam Deck into a portal Linux. Battle Station. Discord status displays current Steam Deck game in Discord. MU Achievements. Plugin for viewing retro achievement progress part of the MU Deck project. MU Decky. Official MU Deck Decky plugin. Fantastic fan controls. Free games. A plugin to notify your free games available in the Epic Game Store. Loader notifications for free games on Steam, GOG, and Epic Games. Friend fix fixes the Mrs. Friends UI bug. Game theme music play theme songs on your game pages. Game view music adds background music to the game page. HLTB, which is abbreviation for how long to play, uh, how long to beat. Uh, a plugin to show you the game lengths according to how long it will take to beat the game. KDE Connect, a plugin for running KDE Connect in game mode. Magic Black overlays the screen with black colour, emulating the screen being turned off on the Steam Deck OLED. Magic Black overlays the screen with black colour, emulating the screen being turned off on the Steam Deck OLED. Mango Peel, a decky plugin for custom performance monitoring style. Memory Deck a simplistic scan mem wrapper for Decky, enabling scanning for and editing values in memory. MetaDeck, plugin for viewing metadata for non Steam games from IGDB, part of the MU Deck project. Micro S Deck, a plugin to manage micro SD cards. An SD card to put in a half terabyte one. Haven't even opened it yet. Moon Deck. Moon Deck is an automation tool that will simplify launching your Steam games via the Moonlight client for streaming. Music Control. Control running media players using the D-Bus interface MPRIS. Media player has to be started through game mode. Network Info. View detailed information about your Steam Deck's network interfaces. Notebook. Quickly scribble down important codes or notes during your play sessions. That could be handy. Pause game. Pause resume games to redirect resources and even play stop apps that don't natively have an immediate option to do so. Playtime. Tracks time you are playing and provides reports and provide time information for non-Steam games. Power tools. Power tweaks for power users. Proton DB badges. Display tappable Proton DB badges on your game pages. I'm going to have that one. Quick launch, quickly launch non-Steam apps from the quick access menu without adding them as shortcuts or add them to the Steam library. Radio, search and play music from the internet radio stations while gaming. You'll give that one a go. Resha Deck, a plugin for loading reshade shaders on Steam Deck. Save manager, save manager to store your save files and load them whenever you want. Screenshot uploader, screenshot auto uploader because Valve don't do it. Upload screenshots to cloud when screenshot is taken. Shotty, a plugin for copying over screenshots to the pictures folder. Steam back, automatically save game snapshot stroke restore for Steam. Steam grid DB, personalize your Steam library with art from a vast, our vast collection of user submitted images. You can also apply images from your local files, adjust logo styles, positioning, turning on all capsules in square. Yeah, I think on that one. Storage cleaner, quickly visualize, select and clear shader cache and compatibility data. Sync thing, plug in for managing sync thing to synchronize files with other devices 
not officially affiliated with SyncThing project, the SyncThing GTK flat pack must be installed. System toolbox, helpful tools to control various settings on the Steam Deck. Tabmaster gives you full control over your Steam library, support for customizing, adding and hiding library tabs. Tail scale control, a decky plugin to activate and deactivate tail scale while staying in gaming mode. No, tail scale needs to be installed. This works only like a switch for the same. Not quite sure what that means. Tier 3, quick access, a TeamSpeak 3 client plugin that integrates TeamSpeak 3 into Steam Deck's quick access menu. Tunnel Deck, enables VPN support with gaming mode, activates OpenVPN, support for network manager. Vibrant Deck, adjust color settings on your deck. I've seen some people use that and that can, uh, it changes the UI. Um, it can really make it pop. I think there's nothing wrong with it, there it is. Volume Boost, a decky plugin to boost volume. Volume Mixer, control the volume of applications and connected Bluetooth sources. Web Browser, a web browser with multiple features including tabs, limited gamepad support, favorites, and a multifunctional search stroke URL bar. Wine Seller, a decky plugin to manage Steam Play compatibility tools. XR Gaming, virtual display, VR light, side view modes for supported XR glasses. And that's it. To access it, you just gotta go over there and go to your plug, and there's all the ones that I've downloaded. They're all in there, and um, I'm not gonna go through them all now. Obviously, there might be a little bit of trial and error with some of them. Um, but I hope this video has been useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care everyone.